So I'm pretty sure I mentioned Battle Phase Overdress at some point in a stream or in a video or in a commentary or something like that. But basically, this is my my smug, so my smug face. Uh, because yeah, Battle Phase Overdress. It's happening. So let's look at the new card, Virena Urger or Urger or Urger. I don't know. They, they, they're supposed to be Elgar in Japanese, but in English, they're translating it a bit differently. Uh, yeah, so his effect is you overdress it on Trickstar. It has an auto effect from hand. At the end of the battle, let your Trickstar attack to Vanguard. If your Vanguard is Nirvana, Soul Blast 2, overdress this card on your Trickstar on Rearguard Circle as Stand and counter charge one. So yeah, battle phase overdress, it's happening. It gives you a counter charge as well, which is what this entire deck has been lacking and gives it some extra push, right? Extra push. Um, and then the second effect is continuous regard circle or guardian circle. If this unit is in the overdress state, this unit gets power 10K and shield 10K. Active on the opponent's turn as well. So it even has a little thing there. So it's a 20K thing. Right, just sitting there. So it's kind of annoying to get rid of extra shield, which is really nice. And you're it's hard for your opponent to like attack into it and get rid of it. They have to like use a card to actually get rid of it, like a, a retire card. So overall, this card is very, very good. Uh the Soul Bash 2 is kind of heavy, but you know, we're, we're gonna be looking at things like Myron and other cards that will soul charge. I think the the Tribash uh kind of soul charges as well. But they're, they're, pro they're probably gonna release more cards that soul charge. For Dragon Empire in the future, so yeah, I think this is um this is really really strong, really strong. Basically, what Nirvana really needs to be strong because right now it's pretty weak. I think it's like kind of like, it's not good. It's not good. Three attacker deck doesn't counter charge, doesn't do anything. Now it's like a seven attacker deck, right? It can attack seven times, maybe even more. We don't know. Uh, just from this interaction alone, you're already getting an extra attack. Uh, but there's other cards that can support this. The real question now is. How many Virenas do we get rid of? Because our ride line still requires Virenas, right? So how many of that do we get rid of? Uh, but yeah, we'll we'll leave it up to testing, right? So pretty pretty darn strong, right? Virenas is looking pretty good. Uh, but then we've got some support cards as well. So I've got Blaze Fist Monk Damari. At the end of the battle, this should attack Counterblast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Choose one of your opponent's front row regards, retire it, and if your vanguard is Chakrabathi, Divine Dragon, Nirvana, choose up to one grade zero card from your drop zone and call it to the rearguard circle. So, this is basically facilitating you calling the Trickstar from your drop zone to get that Trickstar attack in. Uh, so you can, you know, kind of battle phase over this after that attack too. So, yeah, pretty good. It does use a counter blast, it does use a soul blast. Those are kind of really important resources now, but because uh, Elger or Urger or Urger, uh, counter charge is one. The counter blast is not that much of an issue. It's the soul now. The soul that we have to be really careful of. All right. And then the last support card for this is Armored Dragon Mount Cannon. It's pretty touchy, Kaze. Uh, but auto front row regard circle. When your raise zero unit attacks this unit and the unit that attack gets power plus 5,000 until the end of turn. And that's it. That's basically it. So, so your trickstar attacks, it gets 5k. Uh, ideally, you'll be doing those multi attacks during like Persona Ride. I think this card is kind of the least cool out of all of them because. It's just, it's lame, it's 8k, I guess, yeah, it's nothing, it's not, it's not amazing. I think there's just way better slots you can use at the grade 2 side, so, yeah, Mount Cannon, throw that card away, but moving on, we do have some other cards as well. This is a promo that's coming out, uh, this is for Dark States, Act, Rearguard Circle once per turn, Soul Blast 2, choose one of your opponent's rear guards uh, and retire it, so, pretty hefty cost, and then, second effect is when this attack of this unit hits you may soul charge one so this for me is like hmm i think it's passable like passable i mean on hit soul charge too this card is gonna get denied every single time yeah so uh i don't think it's that great i think there's gonna be a billion better cards to run and just this card is not very good um and then next we got some more promos this is nova promo uh sword brand Gladiator? Okay, Sword Brand Gladi Gladiator, right? So when the attack of this unit hits, draw a card. Pretty good. Uh, then the second effect is when this unit is placed on the regard circle, if the number of cards in your hand is three or less, Soul Blast 1 and draw a card. Then if the number of regards you have is two or less, draw a card. Pretty good for Novas, I think. Like, Novas right now, not very great. This will kind of help them. Like, you know, like rushing, I guess. Rush style. Let them draw a bit more. Gets a, a decent hand. So I think this is pretty good. 
really strong for Novas. And the last promo we get is uh, like v VTuber Dragon. I can't really read this, but it starts with a V. So VTuber Dragon for Kagero. Uh, Auto Soul at the start of your main phase. If your opponent does not have any rear guards, you may call this to the rear guard circle. So oh, free plus is pretty good for Kagero. And then second effect is Auto uh, Act. I mean, on the rear guard circle. Catalyst 1, retire this unit. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire all of your opponent's rear guards with the same grade as that unit. So uh, we're getting Seal Dragons in V Collection. So this kind of supports that you turn them all to twos and you bust them all. So I think uh, it's OK. I like I like how you can get a free card from it. But the thing is, I don't like these kind of gimmicky combos where you have to like kind of rely on other cards to make your effect be good. So uh, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because if your opponent has like a full field of like grade one boosters, you're like one for three. So I guess that's not bad. So uh, I, guess, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see how this goes. Uh, moving on, we do have announcements for the next set. It's a booster pack three, Kyoshin Suru Sosei, and then we get a new Virena. This is the Virena Wind, it looks like. So um, I guess we just need like a few more Virenas to make Captain Virena, or, or like the Virena Gauntlet or something like that. But yeah, this is the Wind one. Looks pretty, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, it has the it has an effect already. Well, it has a description of it. It's like a it's like a horse, a centaur. So this is like um, it's like that GBF dude, Sagittarius, right? Uh, so basically, you, you pop original dresses to become stronger. So it, it's like kind of like XCs in in Yu Gi Oh. <laughs> so you, yeah, you just pop your bottom stuff. Get I guess you get an effect or more power. It ups, it's up to you. Well, up to up to whatever the effect is. But so far, the the Virena effects have been getting better and better. So. Um, if we get another Urgere effect, then this could possibly be really, really strong. Um, too bad for Valiente then, right? <laughs> I guess this also kind of implies that you can stack this onto many things, like a Valiente, so you can keep on popping. So, mm, maybe, maybe, okay. As a shield, maybe it's Soul Guard from Buddy Fight. Mm. All right, and then they did reveal some more ride lines as well. I'm guessing this is like the like other teams ride lines, like maybe like the evil team ride lines. I haven't actually watched the anime when episode 12 comes out. I'm gonna just binge watch it and film a reaction or something like that. But I'm, I'm guessing just from the look at this look of this, this is gonna be the um and the effects of these. This is gonna be like the evil evil team or the uh, the antagonist team or rival team ride lines, right? Because we've got Dark States, Brandgate, and Stoic Chaos. So I'm like missing Keter and. And a dragon empire but okay so the first one is for dark states for greed on uh it gets stronger um by eating its own units i think so i mean it's looks like a mafia dude right so i guess that's got the mafia aesthetic aesthetic uh this one is uh you throw a meteor at your opponent so it's like i guess if you've played final fantasy 14 it's like the meteor's coming down and you gotta try and like break i don't know just don't stand in the meteor boys yeah, no, no, basically, she's gonna throw a meteor at you to wipe your rear guards. So, I guess if we want to continue the Yu Gi Oh references, this is like a Nibiru. It's wiping your field. <laughs> it looks kind of cool to be honest, but it's like, yeah, chucking meteors. It's what Brankate does space, space stuff. And this might look like a Maelstrom, but it's not. It's like Flag, Flag Barge Dragon. I mean, it's probably a descendant. It's like a mix between Maelstrom. And like tetra tetra dry or tetra boil because like the guns remind you of the, the tetra stuff right but you've got the missiles which is like the maelstrom so maybe it's like evil maelstrom right but basically this sun's effect is just wave it's just wave and yeah that's it so i'm thinking this is like opposing rival teams units ride lines and we're getting this in set three so past lyrical monastery so overall i think this looks kind of cool um some of these look kind of janky, I guess. I don't really like green on that much. <laughs> I mean, <sighs> I mean, it's not great. But the other two, I kind of like. I kind of always like Maelstrom's aesthetic. It just looks really nice. And I don't, this one, this one, like cool, cool alien, cool alien Cthulhu, you know, things like that. So yeah, cool. Uh, so maybe I'll predict another Virena. What it's gonna do next? Uh, maybe I already threw the prediction, but yeah. Uh, but you know, we'll see more in set three, but. I think next week they're gonna do more like um, more V probably or something, but we'll see. We'll see. I think Doctor O's coming back, so it's always V stuff, right? So nice. All right, so that's it for this week. Let me know what you guys think of Urgier, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.